Hi everyone, I finished this pirate mini last night so I wanted to share with you how it turned out. Um, for the cover, I glued on this uh, pirate flag wood piece. And then down here for the title, I downloaded a font off the internet. It was a pirate font. And then I printed it out on some uh, tan colored cardstock. And then I ripped it out along the edges and then inked it with black ink. And then I crumbled it up to make it look like it was old and weathered. If you can see that. Then down along the bottom, I um, glued some sand along here. I'm going to add more. There's places that it's not so so much sand, so I'm going to add some more. And then over here on the binding, I attach this uh, pirate sword charm. And then inside the binding is um, this was the invitation for the party uh, that I had made. I did the same thing. I um, ripped the edges and inked the edges and then crumbled it up to make it look old. But originally they were in these uh, plastic. These are, this was a soda bottle that I put sand and some shells in and then the invitation was inside and that's how they were delivered to everybody. But obviously I can't put this inside of a mini so I just took out the invitation part and it's going to be stored inside the binding so that it's together with the book. And for the first page, I made a pocket, then added some stickers, and then there's two pieces inside the pocket. Uh, this one says the pirate coat of Captain Jack, and then this one says pirates beware. They're like old sign. I glimmer misted them with gold, which you won't be able to see. But they're kind of shimmery. And then on the back side are pictures and then epoxy stickers. And this just go in the pocket. For this page, I just put a picture and then added some more epoxy stickers. And there's a little sword that's a, a 3D, three-dimensional sword. Now for these pages, I really like the background and I didn't want to cover, the, cover them up. So what I did was I took some of this clear acetate paper. Can you see that? And um, this is just what some stickers had come on and I cut it into pockets and then just glued them on with tape and then added this uh, this is from Jolie's Boutique it's a little pirate ship but it's clear so you can see the background paper and then inside is a picture front and back it just fits inside there same thing with this page another clear pocket so that you can still see the background and then added some stickers on the pocket and another photo, photo mat. Uh, this one I embossed the, these shells on with some gold embossing powder. And then inside are two pictures. This was the cake I had made. It's a treasure chest cake and it had gold coins and candy necklaces and some beaded necklaces coming out of it. And then my son with his cake. And I left the, the backs of these blank. I'm going to add white paper so I can journal on them. And then some stickers up here. Same thing with this side. I also gold embossed this pocket. I was trying to make it look like a net but it's a little too close together to look like a net, so, but it still turned out okay. Added uh, another wood piece there, and then another photo of my son and his cake. Next page, uh, this was, they were um, hitting the pinata, so the, I thought the sticker was perfect, the search for buried treasure. I uh, added some gold rickrack along the edges, cut the pocket along the, the edge with the, uh, the deco scissors, and then inside a picture front and back. Same with the side, this one's a rub-on, epoxy stickers, and then this has them picking up the pieces that had fallen, the candy. This one I left blank to journal on. For 
this page I just added a picture and then some stickers same with this side he was opening presents here this one I added another wood wood piece and some rub-ons more rub-ons and stickers I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I had uh, I used black ink to edge all the, to ink all the edges of the pages as well. On the back page, just another picture, more stickers, and on the back cover, I added this pocket to store extra pictures that wouldn't fit in the in the album. So there's just extras back here, but I wanted to keep them together with the other pictures. And then for the back, it's just a paper with a skull and crossbones on the back. But I really liked how this turned out. And since it was for my son, I kept it simple, nothing too fancy, no um, uh, flowers, stuff like that. Just clean and simple for a boy. So thanks for watching.